Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 as Count, no not Count, Duke Arnold of Steiermark. Uh, so yeah, House Schwarzenegger is on the rise and um, House Carling is trembling. So they already lost one of their kingdoms, they lost Italy and well they also lost uh, Spoleto in Tuscany. But anyways, um, my wife does have a weak claim on the kingdom, well, uh, multiple kingdoms. We can claim one for Lotharingi at the moment um, because there's a kid on the throne um, right there. We also have, uh, we should have a claim on this one, Burgundy, as well because this guy's a kid but he doesn't have a regent. See this guy, he has a regent. He doesn't for some reason. Hopefully that changes. Um, same with the Bavaria dude. Um, my wife has claims on all of these three, so we should be able to declare war on them. Problem is, they're all allied with each other, and uh, especially this guy's allied to Byzantium for some fucking reason. Um, so there's no way I can possibly win this. But Italy, if you look at this again, is a different family because they are an elective kingdom. So I could declare war on them, which would be very nice. However, I could also declare war on this guy again because he apparently got elected as well. They're elective. Um, I lost last time, but if I win this time, we would get a huge... Okay, never mind, he's allied to Bulgaria. Never mind. So yeah, I should probably just go for Italy. Um, now, right now, we don't have a claim, but his son is 9 years old. If I was to kill this guy, if it would be possible to kill him, his son should have a regent, and then we should be able to declare war on them. And since he doesn't have any allies, should be easy, but apparently nobody's supporting him. Nobody wants to see him dead. Ah, that sucks. Well, I guess we're gonna have to sit around a little bit for now because um, there's not much I can do. I mean, again, I could declare war. Yeah, I have two weak claims, but there's no sense to do this. Um, a large merchant caravan from distant lands has arrived at the gates of your stronghold. Their leader, a jovial man of massive girth, is that right? Pleads with you in a strange accent to grant them shelter from the elements of for the night. Um, sure. Let them in. Hopefully they won't steal shit. <laughs> Tell us more about this mythical realm of Hindustan. Okay. Uh, accept your gift. We get uh, Intriguer, Diogenes. Um, isn't that the uh, god of wine? The Greek god of wine? I believe it is. And he's a eunuch. Uh, he's not really that good. He's actually pretty bad. But we're making some nice cash here. Still fabricating a claim on Croatia. Um, probably not really the best idea because that kind of interferes with the uh, Byzantine Empire. Although, so does this province right here. So I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Um, we should... Hmm, should I f fabricate claims on someone else? I really don't know. I guess it doesn't matter too much, really. I guess Spoleto would be a good one. Uh, how many men can he raise? He's depressed. Poor fella. Uh, not that many. Yeah, I think that would be better. That would not interfere with anyone. Um, oh, and we can also centralize. Let's do that. Get some more domain. Um, so yeah, send this guy over. And give me a claim on Spoleto, please. On the whole duchy, if possible. Okay, it's actually three duchies. Never mind. But still, that would be great. Be very cool. Um, okay, we are now centralized, which means we have one more domain title. Very good. Oh, and there's a revolt in Burgundy. Can we now declare war in Burgundy? We still cannot. Even though he now has a regent, perhaps because he's at war, I can imagine. But I'm not sure if that's actually... This might be the reason, because this guy's not at war. Okay. Catherine was supposed to work on her embroidery, but she clearly fancied another kind of pin. Her swordsmanship was not too bad for a girl. Uh, make her brave, of course. And she got wounded. Damn it, but she's strong. She'll get through this. Catherine. We have three lovely boys, and we're actually being called into war by Lotharingia. Against the Burgundian Revolt. Oh, what? Why? Burgundy is my ally? Apparently, Burgundy. Oh, right. Yeah, so Burgundy and Lotharingia are both my allies. Well, of course, I'll accept. And now I can call in people. Interesting. I can call in people. That is, I did not know that. That seems to be new. I can call in people. I'm not gonna bother. And oh my god, we already got a claim, but it's just a county. 
No, I don't want the county. I want the entire, um... No, let it go. It was really quick, but I don't want the county. I want the duchy, please. Does he have more than just one title? No, he only has one title. He has only one title. Hmm. But yeah, I have uh, 1,600 men. These two guys bring, like, each 500 men. So we could easily overpower Spoleto. Um, I just want the duchy. I'm not going to declare with just one county. That's not, not enough. Even more than that. So I'm not going to send any troops there. I mean, because why would I? It's just funny. They don't have any troops at all. And why is he not calling any other allies? He's not calling in Francia for some reason. Probably because he's already at war. Hmm. And this guy, how many men can you raise? Uh, 1,600 at the moment. That's less than I have. I could... I would love to make him a tributary again. Well, I would love to do it anyway. Should we try? Oh, come on. Just do it. We're Arnold Swords, nigga. Call in our allies. Just anyone. Yes. Call them in. Everyone. There you go. I should do. Well, let's get in there. Um, so nobody has yet accepted. So there you go. Yeah, he, he, he has to accept. He accepted as well. That's very nice. So yeah, they bring their own troops, which is very cool. Everyone joined. That's actually cool. Quite awesome. They all join me in my war. Well, that's nice. If he's gonna cross the board, that would be lovely. I'm certainly not gonna do it. And we can appoint one more commander. Mm, yeah, let's actually do that. Uh, this guy, he's a craven, but nonetheless, he has a lot of martial skill. Yeah, why not send a septon into war? Okay, sounds good. We only really need three leaders. We're just gonna need one army. There's some archers coming. Alright, 1,900 men. Sounds great. Send them in. Uh, you guy. Yeah, you're actually gonna take that flank. With 400 men. Actually. Yeah, you pick that one. You pick the weakest flank. It's whatever. It's gonna fall. Who cares? They actually bring a lot of troops. I did not expect that. It's not a thousand men. Actually, I did expect that. I just. Forgot to think about it. Whatever. I know what I'm talking about. He has 2,000. That's more than I expected. He's going to arrive on the 2nd of the September. How long do I need to get there? Wow, I need quite some time. Okay, that at least made him stop. Which is good. Do we have defensive terrain? We have hill terrain. Okay, that's good. We're in hills. So if we're not going to take too much attrition here, that would be terrible. We could have... Oh, this is actually plains. Will we cross a river? Um, does it say that? Where is, uh... Yeah, there's no river and this says plains. So we should be able to hit him head on. Yeah, we got more support. We should win this. Please. Gods be good. We have terrible commanders. Uh, actually, he does not have any commanders at all. So yeah, we're probably going to win this. 3,000 against 1,500 men. Yes, we're going to get a new tributary here. Lovely. And he just called in Tuscany. Ooh, that could be interesting. Tuscany is now called into the war. What happened to Bulgaria? You kind of forgot about it. You have the king of Bulgaria on your side, but he does not seem to be interested. Which I'm very happy about, actually. He's going to arrive in Hatrik, so let's follow. And afterwards, we're just going to siege his capital. And new pope. I don't give a crap about the pope. 28% only, so we definitely have to siege down his capital. Um, okay, Burgundy won, which is very nice. So now Burgundy can actually bring some troops over. 3,000, lovely. Ah, good callings. I like it. Alright, so let's go and siege this place. So now I don't even care if Bulgaria joins, because we have enough support from these guys. They should do some useful stuff. We're still making a lot of ducats. Very nice. Man, tributaries are overpowered. It's really like having vassals. This is the best feature ever. Oh my god, there's 3,000 Tuscan forces. Um, boys, you might want to join me here. And um, my little girl, she has... Yeah, well actually, she has no reason to be proud. That's not true. 
the Blessed Virgin will cure her sin. Why is that a sin? That will be cured by the birch. No, no. What? Oh, fine. I'm, I have no nothing against her being pri uh, proud. I mean, she's she's my daughter after all. Now, if he attacks me straight on, he's gonna have to cross a major river. If he does that, I'd be I'd be happy to be honest. But he's a pussy. Unfortunately, we just lost a couple of troops. If he attacks him across the river, I mean, do it, do it, do it. No, he doesn't. That's actually uh not that cool. Let me see his castle first, please, before you engage in any battles. Hmm, this might be bad. All right, we siege the castle now. We have to come to their aid. Uh, they're defending and they're getting some backup troops. We have to get in there, quick. All right, thanks for the cash, but uh, I'd rather get in there quickly now. Okay, we can make it. Okay, we're gonna make it. And uh, this battle has shown my true metal. I am brave, excellent. So we now have three dual skill. That's not bad. Or well, combat skill, personal combat skill. Yeah, four thousand. Yes, repel the savages. Good job, guys. Wow, they lost 3,000 men. We're almost done, so if we chase them down... Bohuslav? Where's Bohuslav? Where's that boat? Where's that? Uh, okay, never mind. Moravia will arrive in Brno. Or something like that. It's called something like that. Maybe that's 2%. And we have now... We can pick an experience. Now, I probably want flat terrain. Do we have the terrain? Well, that not necessarily. That's not the terrain I'm looking at. Um, Alright, I guess flat terrain would be the best. Alright. 99%, you kidding me? Come on. Well, we're gonna siege that city and that should be enough. And we're gonna have a huge tributary, which would be awesome. And now he's called in uh, King of Bulgaria, who's currently imprisoned by a sultan. Oh well. He's not going to change the faith of this war. And my duchess is pregnant. Very nice. Give me another great son. And she's actually... This is the cool thing. My wife is half-sister of the king of Lotharingia and Burgundy. I love that. It's just so awesome. Come on, siege it down, guys. There it goes. 100% with a new tributary. Wow, we have the huge Great Moravia tributary. I wonder how our name looks now. Uh, oh, he's fighting Poland? Damn it. What's that war? You're fighting uh, High Chief of Delta Poland, the conquest of something. Um, sure, we'll accept, of course. Send our forces north now. Now we're gonna, obviously, we can't call our tributaries for some reason. Okay, so I guess I have to deal with these forces on my own. That's odd. Well, we're not gonna attack into hills, that's for sure. Why can we not join that battle? There must be a war that he can be called to. We can't really call it. It says we can call it someone in, but we can't. Lesser Poland. Um. No, who are we at war with? The High Chief of Lesser Poland. Oh, that's that guy. No. Who is he? Him? I don't... Who, who are you? Oh, that guy. Oh, I see. That's you. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna seize your capital then. If you... If you uh, like this. Idiot. That they die. Oh, look at this. Look at that. We're, we're just so powerful now. How many men? He probably doesn't have any men at the moment. We just destroyed them all. But we should get a lot of cash now. Even more than before. Well, it's not that much, actually. But still better than nothing. So he's losing men sieging. Which is very nice. This 400. He doesn't seem to make any progress. My wife has sent me a gift. Oh, didn't I have a hunting dog before? Maybe not. I'm gonna call him Hunter. I don't think it really matters what you call your dog, but... Perhaps it does. And this guy, my Kuria, died. Natural death while sieging. That's unfortunate. 
So I need a new guardian. Okay. So Ernst, you're gonna be um, educated by la this guy. Sure, sounds great. Hopefully he's not gonna make you a craven. And we need a new marshal. Make him a marshal. He's currently leading armies, which is a little bit of a problem. So he's now gonna attack us, but he has less men than we do. And we're over here in plains? Yeah. Now, as long as he's in mountains or hills, I don't really want to do anything against him. I'd rather have him attack me over there. But we're also losing quite a lot of men. And now Patrick is come of age. He's a fortune builder. Not quite a Midas touch, but that's still fine. So we're going to marry you off to... Hmm... I don't even know. Aparus Calabria. Where's Calabria? That's down here. That would be actually quite interesting. We'd definitely inherit that. Hmm, that would be actually quite nice. I, I like that, actually. Having a little duchy down here. Perhaps. How much money we're getting? Yeah, nine. Uh, yeah, I think that would not be bad. What is the other option we have? Patrick. We could also marry... Epirus, but that would take much longer. It's down here. I like the other one better. Okay, we're gonna marry you off to uh, this lady, or perhaps there's someone else. Venice, Princess of Navarra. How does Navarra look? Yeah, it's not too interesting. Uh, Georgia, another calling girl. Does she have any claims? She does have a strong claim. Which can be inherited, uh, but that's Lotharingia. I'd rather have a strong claim on Italy. Alright, let's check out the claimants. Mm, we're gonna inherit this. Oh, actually, he might be interesting. But they all don't want to join, sadly. Oh, she. 14. Does she have a... Yeah, we need a strong claim, though. I want the strong claim, please. No, none of the weak shit. Anyone? No, it's Lotharingia. Come on. You gotta be kidding me. I'd like to marry one of those stronger claimed. I guess I could. No, oh, yeah, he already has a wife. Hmm. Well, I guess in this case we're gonna go for. What are we gonna go for? Close that, please. Not Navarra. Participacio. Who, wh who is she? She seems to be important. Oh, she might be... Uh, she does have good stats. I like that. Her intrigue is not very bad. Now we have East Francia. Who will give us an alliance as well. Or Lotharingia again. My sister-in-law. And she's 14. Yeah, that was the one we were looking at before. She does have a strong claim. Alright, you're gonna, you're gonna pick the Princess of Lothering. Yeah, yeah. Marrying to the callings. It's not, never bad. He accepted. Great. We could have gotten a duchy, but it's just too far apart. I don't like that too much. Okay, so. We're gonna go over there and hopefully he'll attack us. Who knows. Come on, dude. Kind of annoying being in this, being stuck in this war. Wow, An attractive strong daughter. My daughters are the best. She's scarred, poor girl. Um, yeah, actually, uh, what are you gonna call her? Mm, don't even know. The Arnalda. That sounds good. There you go. Alright, so we're gonna see Jap province. Hopefully that'll help us. Yeah, don't know. Who's this guy? Does he have any allies? No, he doesn't have any allies. But Bulgaria should be on our side. He just doesn't really do much. He lost all of his troops. Oh well. We're gonna unseat this. And then we'll try to kill this little army. Before they, uh... Actually, no, what is he doing? don't even know 
But yeah, should this this should give us enough war score simply because um, we are holding the war call. Anyways, um, we have a good dog. Very nice. That was the end of the episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time. Steve Tronka, signing off.